that is a new song from him, as I say, racing up the charts, and the winner of uh, last year's uh, local hero competition in association with Hot Press. Right, uh, Monday night session, it's quarter past eight, and uh, we say hello to our first guest. We welcome back, it's been a wee while, uh, but Jerry Early, you're very welcome. Thank you, Paul and Jimmy. It's great to have you here, and I have to say, uh, we totally appreciate your commitment, because if anyone was on Facebook, uh, they would have seen the, the, uh, <laughs> the video you put up across and over the Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> it looked worse than it actually was now, in fairness. Aye. It was rough enough looking there, in fairness. But I would say, knowing yourself and knowing uh, your background, that probably you've seen you've seen rougher. Yeah, the, the, it, it was worse earlier on the day actually, but it settled as the evening went on. So uh, yeah, which sure I wouldn't miss it. No, then thanks very much. Uh, we'll talk more in a wee minute, but we're going to go into uh, a song first, Jerry, and the first one up. And I have to I have to say uh, uh, a good evening, Mike Glenn. You're very welcome, Mike. Thanks very much, Paul. And Gronya, you're here too, uh, looking after security. Yeah. And uh, it's lovely to see you. Thanks needed, very much. For badly needed. <laughs> well, Jerry, first track up we're going to do is a uh, cracking tune called uh, Caledonia. California. California, yeah. man. Going to California. It was a, so- as a song, actually, my father used to sing in the bar on a Sunday night and, and every chance he got. So. It's a great song. It's a Johnny McAvoy one, but what, what, do, you, uh, what do you call the woman song or two? Isla Grant. Isla Grant. Yeah. She had a beautiful voice. Yeah. Right, Jerry, anyway, we'd love to hear this. We'll do that first. Aye, of course. <clears throat> he was never there when needed. I know how much she pleaded. Saying, darling, won't you stay home just one time? And he'd always say, I'm sorry. But there's no need to worry I'm gonna meet my army buddies Drink some beer and fight a war In the kitchen making wishes As she tidies up the dishes And another lonely evening And the wine she drank alone But the nights that have no pity In the streets of New York City As he sits there in the corner To hear his key turn in the door She said, I'm going to California To taste the sunshine and the wine Sit beside the rolling ocean And to pass away the time A reading books and old love story And forgetting of my worries And sure maybe, who knows maybe We might meet again sometime Till one night He came home sober He was longing for to hold her When he found the note she'd written Sitting by the telephone And it said, I'll always love you And I never will forget you But all these lonely nights just sitting here alone She said I'm going to California To taste the sunshine and the wine Sit beside the rolling ocean And to pass away the time Reading books and old love stories And forget my worries and sure maybe who knows maybe we might meet again sometime now the nights are cold and lonely as he sits there watching TV drinking beer and shots of whiskey wondering where it all went wrong But his eyes are tired and burning 
But the dreams that keep returning And all his yesterdays No, they won't leave him alone She said, I'm going to California To taste the sunshine and the wine Sit beside the rolling ocean And to pass away the time A reading books and old love stories And forgetting of my worries And sure maybe, who knows maybe We might meet again sometime And sure maybe, who knows maybe We might meet again sometime. Yeah. Very nice, Jerry. Very Thank nice indeed. Folks. Thank you very much indeed. <clears throat> I'll do that one. Uh, that was done for my mammy, who's listening back in the islands. Oh, very good. Yeah, Keeping well. Keeping well, thank that's God. Good. Yeah. That's good. And my lovely harmonica there. Love that instrument. Absolutely love it. I was going to, believe it or not, you were doing Crazy Horse up the stairs for us. Yeah. And, I, and there's many a night I go out to the, the garage and I put on uh, Johnny McAvoy either on CD or Spotify, whatever, I have him on. And that's one of the ones I, I love accompanying on the harmonica as well. Yeah, yeah, that. he does that really well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a beautiful, beautiful song. That song, uh, California, is written by him as well, I'm sure you know. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Johnny McAvoy, I think, is, is, you know, probably won't be until he's, you know, no longer with us then. then uh, exactly. He'd be really, really appreciated. We well, used to, uh, myself and my father um, used to go to hear him and just loved. Uh, what I like about Johnny McAvoy is there's as good a story between the songs as there is the songs. Yeah. You know, yeah, and he, he keeps the audience, he captivates them all the time, you know. A great storyteller, yeah. Uh, yeah. I had the pleasure of meeting him at one of the Highland Radio concerts and I got, uh, he, he brought out a book a couple of years ago and. Uh, it's all the stories about the songs uh-huh. and the lyrics and every song and the story about them and I got him to sing it and uh, that was that was a year before my father passed away and he loved that. Yeah, loved yeah. That. it's funny it. when my father sang that song he put it sort of maybe his own twist in it, you know. Yes. And you know, around home now, people would be more familiar with with my father's version of it, funny enough, than, than Johnny Mac it was, you know. And some people will say that my father sang it better, but <laughs> <laughs> he used to love to hear that, you know. Uh, why not, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yes, why not? That's but it's, it's still one, you know, and, and, and it's, it's great when, when, when we do do it, you know. I didn't do it for a long time after he passed, but it was I had to get the go-ahead for my mother, you know. Uh, in I, fact, it was, it was the night Daniel was in uh, to do a tribute night for him, mm-hmm. and Daniel asked me to sing it, you know. Uh, and... Uh, of course, when 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 Daniel asked, when I told my mother that Daniel wants me to sing it, Aye. it was okay. Then, that was good. You know? enough. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, do you know this? It's nice that you were able to come back and sing it again. Yeah, you know because I, mean? I love singing it. But, you know, it's, it's like you know, it's all them old songs and, and songs that that I remember him by. And Aye, you know, exactly. so it's, it's lovely Aye. to bring him into the room. You know. Music's got that great thing, hasn't it? It brings you closer to people that are no longer here, I always yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And, and it's, it's just brilliant. Well, anyway, as I said uh, before, it's good to see you back here. It must be a couple of years now. Since Would you, you believe, office. Paul, it's nine years in November since Fifth, I came in here, the, the, the December, actually. Uh, the um, 12th? It was the 7th of December. 7th. Yeah, it happened to be in the, on the 85th anniversary That's of, right. of um, the Stalwick. That's that, right. That I sang the song, I'll go. Aye. And and sort of it was um, it was actually John John Mulderney and and uh, and Smeaton Jonathan who were in so I sort of Aye. stole six or seven minutes out of them and, and <laughs> I uh, remember it now it's clear it was a I, I ran I ran in, I, I, I rained in their parade a little bit but then you know what with, with the help of yourselves both you and, and, and Jimmy that song to sort of you know well went. do you know uh, I didn't know much about that story and in fact I knew very little about it and the fact that it was that night. Yeah, it was the anniversary night, and then I had done a lot of reading and research about it to the best of my ability, and it's a story that has just stuck with me unbelievably uh, because I always had a great, uh, I still have a great appreciation and respect for the uh, for the lifeboat people. Yeah, yeah. always have, yeah. and uh, maybe because of my own background in, in the fire service mm-hmm. and stuff, but. The thing about the fire service, you were getting paid. You know what I mean? And these people are volunteers, and it's just... Yeah, it, it, it's really, I suppose, you know, the satisfying part about it was, was there was many people in the island 
that actually didn't know about that rescue. Mm. Um, it was just something that they never spoke about themselves, you know. They never, that's what you said, and you said that to me, uh, and, and I was like, is that modesty and it's something else? But the, the, the 18 were rescued, isn't that yeah, right? 18. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, so that was 18 were rescued, and then they, they got, you can correct me if I'm wrong, they got medals from... And yeah, Irish yeah. or Nelly? They did, yeah. Well, well, the and, then, I, and, and then the I, Queen of uh, Holland, the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. It's very unique that rescue, actually, because it's it's the only rescue that got two gold medals for the same for the same service. Uh-huh. Um, because the RNLI bestowed gold medals on the station and on the Cox and Jack Boyle, mm-hmm. but then Queen Wilhelmina of Holland also bestowed a gold medal on, for the station and the Cox. And so it's unique in that sense. And. Are the, medal, are the medals still around? They are, actually, are yeah, they? yeah, 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 yeah. The gold medal in the station is still there. In fact, they're all still there. Oh. Um, and again, I suppose, you know, people were, people didn't know the significance, you know. I mean, I remember that that medal hanging in the old Apo station and I never really questioned it, you know. It was just one of them things that, you know. Aye. The people of the time, and, and even the sons and daughters, never spoke much about it, you know. So it was... Um, but yeah, you, it was it was great that, you know, because with that song done, I think, was it took a lot of them... Them men back to life, you know, in many ways. Without and, a doubt. And I, lo- I love singing it now because once you get to the chorus, you just pull back and, and, and you know, a lot of the audience, especially in the island, like, you know, You're young singing. people in particular, they just sing it with such a gusto, you know. But I think what you've done um, is brilliant for the memory of it and then the, the instill and the young people, the bravery element of it because yeah. the lifeboat was is a lot different then, Jerry, and what it is now. Yeah, yeah. You know, look... Yeah. That was crazy stuff. I suppose at the time they didn't know any better, and there were still, you know, there were still, you know, there were still decent boats, fine boats, you know. Were they? Oh, they were, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, at there was there were one engine, but but nowadays they have two engines, and, uh-huh. and you know they have all the state of the art equipment. But back in 1940, it was it was basic stuff, you know. Uh, but I still, I watched that. I'm sure you <coughs> watched it to yourself. I watched that uh, documentary on BBC all the time about saving lives. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you can't help but just admire. It's just admire the bravery, you know. It's a great ethos, Paul. Mm. You know, with the um, with the volunteer, you mm. know, element to it. And of course, and tell me this: Do you know the island being the size it is? Uh, I know mainland uh, lifeboats might uh, be able to recruit uh, a lot easier, but is it difficult in the island? Um, I, th- I think it's getting a bit harder, to be honest. Um, because, you know, since the, you know, we won't go into the fishing downturn, but that's no. getting me off on a rant, you know, but uh, I suppose since since we lost the downturn in the fishing, you're you're losing that sort of maybe natural um, seamanship. Mm. So so now, you know, there's a great training programme in place where we're getting younger people that, you know, with the greatest respect to them, didn't have much of a sea background. Yes. But but they're getting trained up to a very high standard, and we have some brilliant people there now. So within the within the Orne Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just probably the the we're, 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 we've lost and are losing some of the older lads, you know. I know. And, and it's hard to um, replace. Hard that. to get replacements mm. with that. Yeah, it's hard to beat experience, I suppose. You know. Of course, and and as I say, I don't want to go on about, it, but that's a very good point you made. Actually, when you said the fact that uh, because of the downturn in the fishing. Mm-hmm. There's obviously a natural element of, of boating. You know what I mean. You have to you have to learn, of course, uh, the, the skills of uh, yeah. rescue. Yeah, yeah. But there's a, a seamanship in you. Which there is, is yeah. Hard. And in fairness, the downturn of the fishing wasn't because of the fishermen. You know, that's because of, of I suppose policies. Uh, policies. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and that's disappointing part. But, it is. But look, at we're still there. We're still in 24 hours, seven uh, days a week. So you uh, know, are still, you still involved now? I'm more now in the launch launch authority now. Right, okay. The deputy launch authority. So well, I'm still, yeah, still uh, a bit my well, it's great. finger in the pie a little bit. That's great. That's great. Uh, sounding great, Jerry. Your dad's not far away when you sing that song from John Muldowney. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the legend that is John Muldowney. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. John was up a couple of weeks ago. He was having a bit of crack there. And uh, it's always great to see him. I was nearly going to call John to come up, but you know what happened if John came up? He would have actually sang it before me. <laughs> <laughs> He's done that in the past, you I know. I remember doing that in the broadcast. <laughs> Do you remember the night we were out and, 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 and John sang it? We were doing an outside broadcast from, uh, from your place. Yeah, yeah. And John John started to sing it and I I said, oh, geez, Jerry's way up the stairs. Here's the stairs going now. Look, I'm thumping. <laughs> that was good. Track. John says, I'm going to sing the song. I'm going to uh, sing the song before that who were up there. Sings it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jerry Early. What a voice. Is he recording a CD or where would you get it? That's from Bernie Freel. Bernie, yeah, uh, I have uh, a couple of CDs recorded. Um, I, I'm not going to do a CD on this one. It's just a single, the one that's coming on later on. Mm-hmm. But 
Um, if, look at if she drops in a wee private message, I'll, I'll, uh, I still have copies of there collaboration are, of a couple of CDs we've done yet. Yeah. Great, Jay. Hope Jerry, sounding great. Happy Monday, lads. Who's that from, Jimmy? Doesn't say. But anyway, listen, thanks very much. Right, Jerry, we're, we're going to the song um, that uh, we know so well and we loved and travelled so well and we lo- loved launching it with you and, and the mm. memories I have and the crack. And it brought a, a close... Oh, did I ever tell you my father put the litig in, in Ironmore? I'm probably sick of telling you every time, I, every time I meet you. This is about the 42nd <laughs> time you told me about it, Jimmy. Uh, in, Paul, nine, in 19... Oh, sorry, he, sorry. He, sorry what did I tell you someone now? 1958. We go to Burton Port and we used to look out, my dad, see, see, uh, see them lights out there, wouldn't be, one of, wouldn't be one of only for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, I love telling people that. I know yeah. people go, oh, there he goes again. <laughs> you, you're to blame, Paul, uh, for... for uh, they pulled for the a... cable over in the boat. I mean, my dad tell me. Yeah. He's only a young fellow. Yeah. Loved the place. Yeah, Loved yeah. it. Yeah. I know you've been out a couple of times in your little... Uh, uh, your buzz cars. Uh, I must get the beetle out. I have a beetle now. Oh, you do? Oh, I've changed. I've got, a, I've got rid of the money. And, I hope uh, that it must be a fairly big beetle, is it? I'll tell you what, it's 1975, she's a right, right. I might get her right. Right, we're going to go to I'll Go, and uh, uh, lovely accompaniment here too by our very own Trudy O'Donnell, and uh, don't forget to fill out the timesheet. Okay, okay yeah. thank you. She's in double uh, time. <laughs> no, 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 carry on. And Mike, you're going to accompany too. Oh, wait, we're looking forward to this. Yeah, yeah whenever you're so ready. yeah, we'll this do this. And, uh, I'll do this for uh, a good friend of mine out in, uh, out in Spain. Um, Good for him. Good for him, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for uh, for John Joe McGettigan and, and all the lads and, and McCaffrey's and Cabaroy. Not tonight of any night, said the coxswain of the crew. The chances of survival on a night like this are few. December 1940, round the coast of Donegal. Came a great north wind that could have been the cruelest of them all. Fourteen men were missing, eighteen more in great distress. Jack Boyle knew that their future and his hands had come to rest. He knew a man who knew the sea, if any man would know. Will you show the way without delay? O'Donnell said, I'll go. I can, I'll do what must be done. I'll go, cause I'm a life old man. I am my father's son. I will go and do the best I can. I'll do what must be done. I'll go, cause I'm an island man. I am my father's son. The neighbors watch them gather and they cast a worried eye. And wondered how that lifeboat crew could possibly survive. They all agreed that some at least the greatest price would pay. And the old men shed a tear and knelt on the ground to pray. While standing on the pier with his hand-picked squad of men, Jack told each one that they might never see their homes again. He told them there would be no shame If this time they said no Each traced the cross upon his brow Stepped up and said, I'll go I'll go and do the best I can I'll do what must be done I'll go, cos I'm a life old man I am my father's son I will go and do the best I can I'll do what must be done I'll go, cos I'm an island man, I am my father's son. Against the storm, against the gale, against the mighty wave, those men were rightly honoured as the bravest of the brave. And let us all salute them and thank God for men like these who would risk their lives for strangers in peril of the sea. Remember these names well With the Boyles and the Burns and Rogers They faced the seas from hell With the waves above them crashing down A heaving mass below God bless them everyone Who made the vow to sail 
I'll go and do the best I can I'll do what must be done I'll go cause I'm a lifeboat man I am my father's son I will go and do the best I can I'll do what must be done I'll go cause I'm an island man I am my father's son Now that volunteer Life for crew, a sullen out in the war. They fought the greatest storm that they had ever seen before. But they brought them 18 sailors home and left them on the land. Now they're safe and home again by the grace of God's own hand. Now the spirits soar above the waves, the earned eternal rest. And surely if there's justice, they are seated with the best. And I'd like to think in that last hour, God whispered soft and low. And welcomed home the eight brave men who made the vow to go. I'll go and do the best I can, I'll do what must be done. I'll go cause I'm a knight. I am my father's son, I will go and do the best I can, I'll do what must be done, I'll go cause I'm from Aaron Moore, I am my father's son, yes I'll go and do the best I can, I'll do what must be done, I'll go cause I'm an island man, I am my father's son. I can, I'll do what must be done. I'll go cause I'm from Aaron Moore. I am my father's son. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Well done, everyone. The compliment there is brilliant. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, lovely. Uh, lovely. And do you know, Thanks, I just want to point out the poignancy too to that song that we didn't uh, kind of mention, and maybe for people that's maybe hearing it for the first time, it's the fact that it's called I'll Go, Jerry, and it's a story about looking for people that were prepared not to come back. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, this yeah, is why yeah. they say I'll go because they were certain they didn't ask everybody. Isn't that am I right? No, it was a handpicked crew, uh, a handpicked crew, yeah, yeah. So um, and I suppose, you know, again, you know, going back to my father, he was nine when this happened, and uh, he kept that story alive when, when, and he, I suppose, he was prepared to talk about it when, when, uh, when others weren't, and you know, I, I think for us, you know, myself and John, John Gallery, he's listening in Glasgow. Hello, John. Um, hello, John. Uh, yeah. It was easier for us to read it because we had no connection. To directly, yes, to yes. any of the crew, yes, you know, and it, yes. it wasn't nepotism, it was just, you know, we could, I suppose, write about it and, mm. and sing about it because, you know, it was, it was you know, it wasn't family to us. I get you. you know, it was just admiration more than anything else. Well, you know. yourself and John, you know, you've done a credit, and I think it's, I think it was so important because, as I say, every, every word and every line you're hanging on it, but uh, the thing that gets me is the fact that, you know, as they went out in them li that lifeboat that night, they were prepared not to, you know, they weren't prepared not to come up, but it was there. We might well, come look, home. I suppose, you know, for every time you go out, and Paul, home. you know, that's a possibility, you know, mm. for, for anybody that goes out, but I suppose the odds were much higher on that one, you know. Yes, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Anyway, we're a quick hello, a couple of lows here. Uh, Maria McCormick's is class, Jerry. Mary Ferry, lovely song, Jerry. Elaine Doherty, lovely song, Jerry. Keep it up. And um, who else were we saying? Uh, Glenna, I hope I'm saying this right, Kisler or Chisler, hello from the USA, hello to you. Hello, Glenna. Uh, Mary Logue, well done, Jerry. Ben McBride, great song, Jerry, come Argus. And uh, Tracy McBride, Jerry, sounding good as always, you know the great memories I have <laughs> of this song. Like, we know that was some crack that day, wasn't it? That was some we crack, yeah, oh, yeah. Do you know, there's things that stick in my head, and, and uh, that's just one of them magic, all them Wayne singing the yeah, song. Oh, my God. Yeah, morning, yeah, yeah. But it was good crack. It was all great memories. Right, we're going to take a Time to go up break. again, Tracy. Eh? We'll have to go back up again, lads. I oh, was well, no better man than myself, I'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, Anya Sailor, uh, Sean Sailor listening from oh, that's Armour. The main man. That's the king of Armour, Sean. Is that the king Sha now? Well, better not say Sean because he goes off the head of it, I call him Sean, so it's Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh, Good man, Sean. Sean is, Sean is working the ferries these days and he's a busy man because every I time, see I, see, I, see every time I see Sean, there's a camera stuck on his face. So, so uh, There you go, very popular He's the main man. man. So hello, Sean. King Sean. 
Well, we look forward to meeting Sean the next day we're over in the ferry. Look out for the Red Beetle. Right, quick ad break. Back with more music and chat after this. Experience total relaxation in the spa at Orchids at the Holyrood Hotel Bondoran. Recently awarded Best Hotel Spa Getaway at the RSVP Spa Awards. Enjoy luxury spa baths, revitalizing facials, rejuvenating massages, pampering body treatments, outdoor hot tub and tranquil Japanese garden. Visit on a luxury spa day, pop in for some me time or buy the perfect present with a gift voucher. Relax and let the spa at Orchids transport you to another world. See HolyroodHotel.com Ensure the safety of your team with SafeTech. We have part-funded courses in first aid, people moving and handling, confined spaces, food hygiene, quad bikes, fire warden, IPAF mupes, electrofusion, welding and machinery cards for Ireland and UK sites. Also delivering online courses like utilities, water hygiene and construction supervisors. SafeTech can deliver group training at your business premises. To find out more, contact safetech.ie today. At Holland and Barrett, we believe it's time to change the way we think about our hormones. We've heard for too long, you're hormonal, but that's normal. Let's learn how to work together with our hormones so we're united in our quiet days, high days, what's happening to me days, the wonders of life days. Because when we understand our rhythm, we can own every day of the month. Find personalised solutions to support your hormone health. Now on 3 for 2 at Holland and Barrett. Offer ends 14th of May, subject to availability. Are you ready for Cairn Community Games? Come and make some noise. Throw shapes, run, paint, cycle, sing. Take to the stage and make friends. It doesn't matter where you're from or what you're into. There's a place for you at Cairn Community Games. Because together, we're all in. Play your part at cairncommunitygames.ie. Don't miss the BAFTA award-winning comedian Michael McIntyre's brand new show, Magnificent, at the SSC Arena Belfast on Friday the 31st of May 2024. As always, Highland Radio make it easy for you as we look after all your needs. We will provide luxury transfers, overnight stay at the Clayton Hotel Belfast on a and b basis, your ticket to the show, shopping time in Belfast City Centre. For more information, go to the outlet at highlandradio.com or give us a call on 074 91 25000. Michael McIntyre in Belfast. I'm making a move. Looking for real choice? Leave diesel behind and make the move to Toyota Hybrid Electric at Kelly's Toyota Letterkenny and Mount Charles. World leading hybrid electric technology, lower emissions driving, with the widest choice of hybrid electric models from Ireland's best selling car brand. With flexible payment options available, make the move today at Kelly's Toyota Letterkenny and Mount Charles. Toyota, built for a better world. Virgin Media is bringing Ireland's best broadband to more and more homes. Big homes, little homes, outhouses, haunted houses, big gaffs in the country, non-bouncy castles, number 16, Oxbow Lake Houses, the house with all the cats. Get 2 gig full fibre broadband with 99.9% reliability from Virgin Media. It's playtime. T's and C's apply. See virginmedia.ie. Subject to availability. Ireland's best broadband. See virginmedia.ie forward slash proof. The CFC Interior Stock Disposal Sale ends this Saturday, the 20th of April. Due to renovations, an incredible £1.5 million worth of stock must go. Don't miss our highest ever discounts on selected ranges across all departments. The Stock Disposal Sale at CFC Interiors Dairy. Sale ends this Saturday, the 20th of April. Join me, Marty Free, listen every Friday night from 8 for Rockin' Hits on Highland Radio in association with Arena 7 Letter Kenny. The best family entertainment complex around with bowling, laser quest, soft play centre, and more. Visit arena7.ie. Genesis is turning 30, and you're invited to celebrate three decades of Genesis Salon and Gidor on Thursday, April 25th, with a live broadcast on Highland Radio from 9 till noon. There's 30% discount on full price treatments booked in the salon and a luxurious hamper worth €400 Euro up for grabs. Proceeds to the Cancer Flight Service. With a live DJ, goodie bags worth €30, Euro, bubbles, nibbles and cake, it's going to be an unforgettable celebration at Genesis Salon's 30th birthday bash. See Genesis Socials for more. This is Highland Radio with Paul McDevitt. Here and more in the county Galway, 
One pleasant evening in the month of May, I spied a damsel. She was fair and handsome, and her beauty fairly took my breath away. She wore no jewel, no costly diamond, no pin. She wore a bonnet with a ribbon on it, and around her shoulder was the Galway shawl. We kept on walking, we kept on talking till her father's call. Came into view. She cried, Come in, sir, and meet my father and sing to please him in the foggy deal. She played the blackbird. The stacks of barley, all Rodney's glory, and the foggy dew. She sang each note like an Irish linnet, till the tears rolled down from her eyes of blue. It was early, early. All the next morning, we hit the road for old Donegal. Up Donegal, go! I held her tightly. We kissed and parted, but my heart. Brilliant, Jerry. Well done indeed. Thanks Thank very you, much indeed. Well done, Jerry. Enjoying the uh, join listening to your music from all your friends at the log cabin. Oh, brilliant! I had the uh, doyles. And uh, who else were saying hello? Say hello to Jerry from all uh, the McLeans and Mountain Bar. Uh, we were up there last Monday night, and geez, we had we had a night for the ages up there. Is that right? Oh my God! Good night. <laughs> Some characters up in that town, I tell you. Good evening from Blackpool. Just listening live to the show and enjoying Jerry singing. That's Paul Ward, your cousin. Ah, lovely. Yeah. Hello, Paul. Paul. Hello, all the family. And uh, let me see, uh, Patrick Rogers. Well done, Jerry. Um, Bernie Cook O'Donnell watching from Manchester. Oh, hi Bernie, that's my, no, my old next door neighbour Bernie Oh very good And Sean Monigle, big shout out to Jerry from John and Lisa And where'd you go? And Darren Duffy in Malone We will see you in August Oh god, do, do I have to see them? <laughs> <laughs> <Very. laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well done Jerry, sounding great Keep her lit from Connie, Paddy, Aaron Moore uh, that's the uh, that's the Green Island lads. Oh, very yeah, good. Paddy, I think they were in here as well, Paddy and Connie. Oh, they were. Ah, of course oh, they were. Yeah. They were yeah. surely they got. Do you know um, the island? How's things going on it? Are you, are you busy or? Yeah, you know what? It's it's, it's shaping up to be a good good summer. Yeah, good stuff. Um, Easter, of course, was early this year, and mm. 
The weather hasn't been great, oh, but it's yeah, it's, it's it's tipping along. You know, there's there's a lot of stuff happening on the island, which is uh, the Russia Rio Festival on this year. That's on seventeenth uh, of the weekend of the seventeenth of May, which is a great festival, very mm-hmm. you know unique in its in its shanos and, and absolutely fantastic. How many years that go now? This would be the fifth year, I think. Uh-huh. A very successful year. every year. Fantastic, yeah, yeah. It's it's booked out already. It's, it's already it, sold out. Yeah, it's fantastic. Now I have to say that the Glens family, the two of them with me, are, are massive drivers of that and. With the connections to the music, um, yeah, it's they're, they're lining up now. to come there. It's because, fantastic. Uh, yeah, uh, Rosh Rua, you know, was 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 an old Shano singer, keeper of songs, mm-hmm. I suppose. And, and I have the wee book. Uh, do you have the oh, book? Yeah, uh, yeah. Big connections too with with Straban, believe it or not. Uh, worked down in the Lagan. Uh, Is that right? Way back, yeah, yeah. And I know she has family down there as well, Paul. Yeah, that's that's hoping to be here this year. So that's very good. Hey? Yeah, uh, look, it's a great. You know, it's great that. Um, She's been remembered now, I suppose. And, and her songs would have been covered by, you know, by Alton, Maraid and, and the Brennans, you know, Planets. How long has she passed away, Jerry? Ah, uh, she passed away in 50, 60, was it, 1960? 63. 63, was it? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. But we, you know, I mean, we've, we've, we've redone now and... and Updated her headstone and stuff, so there's a lot of you know. Mm. It's, it's, it's great that, that she has been remembered. Isn't it lovely? For, for it's lovely. Song to well, it's great yeah. and well done to everybody involved in it. And I just want to go before I ask you something else, uh, Mike and, and Gronya. It's lovely to see you, but there is a connection here. Some listeners might know because uh, Brian and Jermot are your sons from you vagabonds. That's right. And uh, well, you have a big connection to the island, and we always knew that because. Uh, um, Gronya, you're from Ironmore, and uh, Mike, you're just a blow on, I think. That's, that's it, that's it, it always will be. We'll never, uh, it'll never be any different. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you're happy enough for that. Indeed I am. Uh, of course. Well, come here, the boys are doing good. They're doing very well. They've had a very, very busy year, uh-huh. and uh, they've had, they're, I suppose they're getting bigger gigs and maybe don't mm-hmm. have to do as many to stay alive. Yes. And uh, so, say, the likes of Vicar Street and Aiken Productions have been very good to them. And uh, um, last week now, Breen was down in Waterford, yes. and there's a lovely festival down there. And uh, he played a lot with um, Andy Irvine, and they've you know they've a lot in common, and uh, it's nice to see that. Well, they've a, lov- they've a lovely style. Well, that's it's a it's a great thing. It's mm. a thing I have to say about all of those people you know that we knew back in the sixties. Mm. You know, Planksty and all the people that yeah. were associated with Planksty, and of course, you know, Christy coming out on his own, and the, all of those guys, yes. Paul Brady, all of those people are very, very supportive of the new up and coming uh, talent. Brilliant. And so, and uh, so. Our, our boys, no more than anybody else, like the Lancome lads and all these, mm. they've, they, they've been given the best of support and encouragement and advice by these people so they've been able to avail of their experience and and their absolute love of music you know so oh, yeah, but you see that on you know <laughs> the music they make and even their presence and being in their company you know you can see that um the blue is the eye <laughs> mm. tell us the background to that well, it was actually brian wrote uh, the words of that and it was about jerry's dad mm-hmm. uh, brian and andrew were great friends from when brian was seven or eight years of age Mm-hmm. And Andrew was going to bring him out, he told him, and uh, bring him on a boat, and uh, he'd hook a fish that would pull him out of the boat. <laughs> 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 and uh, so they've been buddies, and mm-hmm. there are all kinds of lovely pictures of, you know, mm-hmm. the associations with the two together, and Andrew hang- handing over the, the, the rudder when it was safe to do so to, yes. to Breen. So it was a lovely thing. But uh, in, uh, I suppose... For bringing up, come up, coming up to say Andrew's death, then and we were all devastated. And uh, then I think it was probably the day after he was buried, Jerry, that yeah. you and Breen went out in a boat to let off a bit of steam. And Andrew, of course, in his latter years, had the habit. We all knew if we were out in boats, and particularly novices like myself, that he, and was, watching, <laughs> he was watching every move you made. And if you did make a wrong move, he would let you know when you came back mm. in. And so one of them said to the other. And they were down that day after he was buried. I said, uh, I wonder, is he watching us now? Mm-hmm. And with that, an extraordinary thing happened. A minky whale, the smallest of the, the whale family, broke, breached mm-hmm. the surface mm-hmm. and came up right beside the boat and then just went back down into the depths mm-hmm. again. And, of course, the minky whale has a blue eye and so did Andrew. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that little bit, 
there were bits about Rosharu and there were bits about you know Andrew uh, as a, in a young, as a younger lad, but then that bit was referring to Andrew, and of course one of them looked at the other out in the yeah we know we've been watched yeah they said well there's your answer <laughs> <laughs> beautiful That's beautiful yeah, yeah and Jim was what is that day as well the three yeah. of us actually yeah ah. and and I was it was Jim was what is it yeah. 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 yeah and uh, like one of the most extraordinary experiences I suppose we have had Grainne and I. Uh, in going in, you know, following them around wherever we can, uh-huh. was that in Vicker Street they were playing one night to 1,600 people, and when they uh, started that song, everybody around us knew the words. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. And we couldn't believe that. That's what know. I always say. To, I always say that to songwriters, uh, and I love doing it sometimes when you go on somewhere and somebody's singing it and you're standing by. I love seeing the crowd singing their songs. I just think it's you know it's just nice. That yeah, that's yeah. amazing. It was it was it blew us away that that night just to think that uh, our wee sons that had had written put this song together that they had influenced so, so many people that very that proud, very proud moment, very, oh, very proud moment, and and like the the audiences they get vary from yeah. teenagers right up to yeah. old fogies like myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, Mike, thanks for sharing that. That's a beautiful story. It really, really is. Uh, Kayla, I'm saying that right, Kayla? Yeah, Kayla, yeah. Uh, We're all listening in from Bill and Tammy's house in Iron Moor. Fair play, Dad, Mike and Trudy. Nana said you're sounding great. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Nana. That's <laughs> good enough. If I pass, if I, if I pass the mammy test, I'm that, all right. Yeah. Everything's good now to go. Jerry, you have a, an event coming up in, in Vicar Street. I do, uh, yeah. Tell yeah. us about this. This is a brilliant story, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It was... Um, so I went to... Um, I befriended who I didn't know at the time, um, Jackson Smith. Uh, mm-hmm. He came and stayed with us in the island and we started singing songs and telling stories. But, but to cut a long story short, um, met Jackson then on Beaver Island last September when we were out there mm-hmm. and played more songs and, and had a bit of crack, and, as you do, on the islands. The LA islands are the same. And mm-hmm. uh, after I came back, he, he, he actually called me and he says, I, I had known that Jesse, or Jackson, Jackson, sorry, I keep getting Jesse and Jackson mixed up, but uh, I knew that Jackson he had, that was the son of the great Paddy Smith, mm-hmm. um, I mean, an icon in, in, in music. Right. And uh, she also was a home on the island, didn't get to meet her, but but I suppose, to cut a long story short, just before Christmas, he, he, he called me one day and he says, hey, Jerry, he says, do you fancy opening for my mom in Vicker Street? <laughs> Yeah, that was my initial reaction as well. Hang on, <laughs> hang on to check the book. <laughs> I, says, ja- I says, Jackson, absolutely no chance. I says, my God, I says, I, I says, I'm, I'm cheeky and I'm, 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 I'm giddle as they were called back in our place, but I'm not that bad. So anyway, I got off and, and of course, Pat and, and the kids said to me, Dad, imagine your CV after that one. Mm. So I uh, okay. thought about it for a while and I said, sure, look, what can go wrong, you know? Nothing go wrong. <laughs> No, so I'm looking wrong. forward to that on the 27th of um, Jerry. 27th of June. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be unique. I'm actually nervous thinking about it, but you're uh, no, no more nervous than I was coming in here tonight to you lads. No, <laughs> you until, until you started playing a song with, <laughs> as an ad. <laughs> See, that's the way it goes here. That's the way it works, yeah. yeah. The, the good thing about this, nobody listens. <laughs> We're going. But come here, uh, uh, it'll be brilliant. Did many nights are you doing? Three nights? No, two, no, two no, nights? no, no. I'm doing the first night and, and oh. the boys, your vagabonds, are doing the second night, so, yeah. Right, so we're going to finish uh, with ch- a quick intro. Jerry, do you know us? You'll have to come up some night and we'll do a few hours special. I know, Jesus. Bring Muldowney and... and oh, God, you need three. <laughs> Jimmy says 20 <laughs> minutes, and I says, God. <laughs> he'll, he'll bring a bag of cans, Muldowney. Sure, we'll have a crack. <laughs> <laughs> come here, this new song. Um, once again, I was out, I was telling Jimmy, I was out in the garage again, going along in the harmonica wheel, and I, I just, the first one I listened to it, I just fell for it right away. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Paul. Yeah. Give us the, the, the backbone. Yeah, so, so I suppose, you know, again, John Gallagher. John is, is my uh, my right-hand man, mm-hmm. or, or I'm his left-hand man. or <laughs> But um, it works in a very weird way, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I suppose when we collaborate, John's a fantastic writer. So mm-hmm. it's such a brilliant songwriter. So, so after... Uh, well, <clears throat> I have to say, this little harbour below my house um, where... I always had fond memories. And, and this applies, I think, to, you know, from Fallman Island, mm-hmm. the pier, I suppose, is, is, is a massive part of your life, you know, mm-hmm. because it's, it's the first place you see and it's the last place you see, you know. 
And um, but this particular harbour, for me, was always a special place. There was always older men. You know, they probably weren't that old, but I thought they were the older mm -hmm. men of the village. Mm -hmm. And there was always a great feel about it. You know, uh, unfortunately now, you know, there's only one or two boats fishing out of it, and, and me being one of them. But you know, every time I go there, every time I went there, you could just feel you know the presence of these old characters. You know, mm -hmm. really fantastic men. So. After my father passed, um, this came more and more into my head because like him and, and my father-in-law and all these great characters that used to be about the pier, they were no longer there, you know. Mm -hmm. But but I, every time I went there, I could feel them, you know. Mm -hmm. So I called John and I says, John, I says, um, I have a song. And funny enough, John had the same feeling about the place, you know, a real spiritual feeling about it. So we jigged and jagged around and, and eventually we wrote it that, that this probably shortly after my father passed when we wrote it mm. because it was very very present um and then we sat in it you know for yeah. for quite a while uh, just you know just the time wasn't right or maybe just getting more comfortable but i took it to ari ari mcbrarity mm -hmm. and uh, ari produced it and i was i was very lucky to get mike to play in it um jackson smith the aforementioned jackson actually did did uh <coughs> played in it breen breen glenn mm -hmm. And a lovely girl, um, Rebecca. It's Rebecca Heron. Yeah, lovely, lovely. She does harmonies on it and uh, and um, plays a bit of the flute and the bludgeon whistle. So, yeah, it's uh, it's look at you know it's 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 hard when you release a song you don't know where it's gonna go. But I hope it well, resonates yeah. with, with somebody and some you know to me it was a peer. It could be somebody else. It could be a farmhouse. See, it could this, be, exactly. It could be something, but yeah. something clicks in your head, and I find that. When I listened to it, and I listened to it, and I listened to it, and I listened to it a lot of times in the one night, and it did, it, did, it brought me to somewhere that I I remember things from. Well, that's good, and that's, so. that's, I think that's, you know, it's not, not named after the pier, but it could be any pier on any island or village, mm -hmm. or it could be the town square, or it could be out in the field exactly. working with your, with your parents or, or your forefathers, so, yeah. So, uh, we're delighted that this is the first airplay. Uh, exclusive airplay and if, if no one's heard it um, I want you to have a listen to this very very closely it's a brand new song and uh, Jerry as I say and Mike and Trudy thanks very much as always uh, for coming up and we enjoyed your company we enjoyed the story and, and just can I add I just you know this is the first time it's been played and I would have went past I would not have gone past you two guys because of what you do for not just how you've helped me with what I'll go, but what you do for all aspiring well, musicians coming up in this county. So, you know, this is as much for, for, for you guys as oh, for no, that's else. very nice. So, well, thank really, you, lads. I really appreciate it. This is uh, the brand new song from uh, Jerry Early, where the souls of fishermen rest. And wherever you're listening, if you can, just give yourselves a couple of minutes and, and pick up on the lyrics and the songs. Here we go. An old man stood at the head of the pier I could tell he was watching a boat disappear He knew me all right, I could see by his smile He said, it's so good to see you, sit down for a while And I did, and we spoke of days long gone we stared at the spot where the sea meets the sky And we sat on the edge, our feet hanging free And we swapped tales of fishing as old man and me Where the soft breezes blow on the way from the west And water dogs glide in the ocean's white crest Feel welcome, privileged, honored, and blessed. Where the souls of all the fishermen rest. I remember the days we played round the pier. As the fishermen tended their boats and their gear. We learned how to fish, we learned how to swim. Learned about living from men just like him But we learned so much more out of patch and to men I never 
never say no to a neighbor or friend To respect the old ways and the freedoms we'd won And leave something behind when your time here is done Where the soft breezes blow on the way from the west And water dogs glide in the ocean's white crest I feel welcome, privileged, honored and blessed Where the souls of old fishermen rest We talk to the boats, the skippers, the crews And how the help of that pier, I knew it was true And they left it to the children, we left it to you So please treat it with kindness as you pass on true And the peace and comfort all souls understand He then bid me farewell with a warm calloused hand I turn for a wave, a final goodbye But he couldn't be seen and I wasn't surprised Where the soft breezes blow on the way from the west On water dogs glide in the ocean's white crest I feel welcome, privileged, honored and blessed Where the souls of old fishermen rest Where the soft breezes blow on the way from the west The water dogs lie in the ocean's white crest I feel welcome, privileged, honored and blessed Where the souls of old fishermen rest Where the souls of old fishermen rest The souls of old fishermen rest. Where the souls of old fishermen rest. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Jerry, absolutely amazing. Absolutely, genuinely, it's just beautiful. And uh, there's a reason why, you know, <laughs> you write that and you just wait for the time to launch it. There, there is a reason, you know, there always is. And, uh, Where can people get it, Jerry, if they want to? So it's uh, it's it's on Spotify and iTunes. Um, thanks to my daughter Kayla, because yeah. it was left to me, Paul. Trust me. You're like myself. I'd be. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's for anybody the ones that are. Oh, come here, listening, and I'm sure I'll be singing it in corners. Of oh, what are you talking about? Different and, corners. And, uh, well, that's done, and rightly so, Jerry. It's amazing. We're getting an unbelievable reaction here. And uh, we'll read some of them out, but you can check them on the Facebook. And thanks to everybody who who, who, uh, who messaged in here because uh, it's very appreciative and uh, absolutely just blown away with Jerry. Uh, as always, it's, it's a pleasure seeing you, and we enjoy your company. But we're going to have to do a special or something some night, we two hours, you know what I mean? And and we'll we'll plan that in advance. And I just want to say to Mike and Gronya Glenn, thank you so much indeed. And to uh, our very own Trudy O'Donnell, thank you very much indeed. He's a brilliant. And, and uh, thanks to, to Mike and Trudy for joining me. Very short notice, I have to yes, say. Yes, uh, so, so. So, yeah, yeah, wasn't. And, and pass our best wishes and love and support to the two boys. And wish them all the very, very Sir. best. Thank you thanks very much, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. The Blockbuster.